Hey everybody, Leo here from Leo's Garden in the Suburbs. Uh, just wanted to give you all a quick update. I know it's been a while since I've been on here. Things have been beyond busy, beyond crazy. But I want you all to know, I'm still doing it. I'm finding time, putting time together, getting busy. So here we go. Here's the, uh, the blackberry canes that got transplanted a few years ago. Still just flourishing. Bursting with flowers already. Strawberries. We've been doing really good with these, except for fighting the pill bugs. That seems to be our problem this year. New problem, new adventures, trying to figure it out. One thing I've been doing is a little uh, container with, um, uh, what is it, uh, some beer in it. Let it sit overnight, and that seems to be working pretty well. Blueberries here, sage, rosemary with some weeds intermixed that have been growing. Uh, this right here is definitely not rosemary. <laughs> so we gotta get that out of there. Um, we got a lot of things that just been popping up. And as you can kind of see, haven't been able to stay on top of everything. Got some weeds over there, I have to get pulled out. Great vine that I got from a buddy of mine has just been booming this year. I mean, look at that, those are all grapes. Bam, bam. Some herbs growing in with it. This is a lot of overgrowth from last year. We have uh, some of the lettuce that's going to seed. Swiss chard is doing fantastic. Got some carrots that are going to seed. So I'm trying to save some seeds out of a lot of this. Uh, more strawberries, asparagus. We've gotten a few out of here. Uh, once again, just really busy. Um, sometimes it happens. This is uh, a new little bed I put in. So we got some different herbs and whatnot growing in here. Some radishes that are ready to come out. Look at those things. Fantastic. Raise this four foot by four foot bed up and those are potatoes. So we'll be taking you along to show you how that turns out. Garlic that I planted from last year, just waiting for the scapes to start shooting up. So that should be happening any time now. A lot of rain. Some onions uh, from last year, right in there. It's uh, a red one. So I'm gonna get some seeds off of those as well. Uh, a couple volunteers in here. Uh, this here is uh, Aunt Molly Ground Cherry. I put actually put that one in. That's a volunteer over there. Some tomatoes and peppers intermixed here. Squashes and zucchinis are looking fantastic right now. Uh, haven't had a chance to really stake any of these up except for put the one stake in and everything still moved out on me. <laughs> so got some more going over here. Uh, peas are looking fantastic. Um, bottom ends are getting done, but these top ends, I gotta come through, gotta pull stuff off of them. Seems to be the challenge this year. Gotta find the time, gotta find the time. Basil intermixed here. There's my, my tomatoes, I need to get these staked up. <laughs> get some things going in there. Here's the pepper bed this year. Uh, as you can see, I had to buy some starts. Um, not all my starts worked out too well on the, on the peppers. Don't know why. This here is my daughter's uh, flower garden. Um, we got some butterfly bushes back there in the back trying to get established. Some of the flowers didn't pop up, so we're gonna add some new stuff in here. But we put in some uh, cantaloupe and watermelon, and we're gonna shoot those across the fence. Over here, we got some raspberries that are starting to take off. Uh, <laughs> what I thought was a strawberry can. Well, strawberries turned out to be a blackberry cane, so that's intermixed in there. So we'll have to get some of that pulled out. Uh, some of the strawberries, though, that were transplanted are starting to take root. Some of the kale over here. And we need to plant some more beans in here. Uh, it's kale from last year, too. So, But that's everything that's kind of going on. Um, big monstrosity over there is the wife's uh, herbal medicine garden, um, which all the rain's been helping out with that. As you can see, I got a nice big trench going down the middle here. PVC pipe, you probably see some more trenching and whatnot, but 
that's been a lot of the main focus so far at the beginning of this year, which is why I'm behind in here uh, of staking everything up is I've been putting in irrigation in the sprinkler system. So uh, sometimes you get a little bit behind and then you just gotta play catch up. So uh, I got my, my vining squash and whatnot going here that I just need to, to get some time in here, be able to wrap things up like this maybe get some ties on some things, let them, let them get where they need to go. I'm also kind of doing the let it run too. Um, in some cases, it's actually worked out a little bit better. Um, so we'll kind of see how that goes. That, uh, I'm not sure what that is, so that's probably a weed because I don't remember planting anything that looks like that. <laughs> uh, got some more peas right in here, whatnot, but potatoes are looking, potato plants are looking really good. Um, now I just got to figure out when I can start pulling some of these out. Uh, they're just small little russet and red and purple tomato or potatoes and stuff like that. But that's where everything's at. There's a quick little review, quick, quick little walkthrough for everybody. More than anything, I want to let y'all know, even if you get behind on things, even if you got so many projects, you don't know what to do with them. Ask your family for help get them to help support you while you do your endeavors and remember if i can grow this much food and this much of a garden in such a little space so can you no matter how busy you are find a time take a little bit of time and enjoy the time in the garden we'll see you soon